Hey guys, Matt Lieber with GameZone here. As you're probably aware by now, Bungie has started to roll out update 1.0.3 in Destiny. Uh, the developer says this is the first in a series of updates that will deliver new content leading up to the release of the Dark Below expansion, which I believe is December 9th. They actually just released the patch notes. It's a pretty hefty update weighing in at 2.44 gigabytes. And a lot of that is, the, the brief overview is new social features, revisions to activities, alterations to competitive spaces, adjustments to the player overall experience, and a download of new content to support the expansion. Uh, there's also new, or there's also the new updates which they detailed last week for the Iron Banner event, even though those new features and updates are included in this, in today's update, the actual event doesn't begin until a date that will be announced soon. Um, but in the meantime, here's what the patch notes are for today. Here's just a, a few noteworthy ones. You can read the full patch notes below. But uh, the big thing is voice. They've added a new social feature that allows you to access a channel for team chat, which is really big uh, for the game. I know that's been a, a highly requested feature. Um, and again, uh, more details on that can be found through the links below. Uh, there's, there's overall class fixes, um, weapon changes. They've reduced the camera shake when being hit with explosive rounds, so I guess that's kind of cool. Um, mission activities have also been, been updated. Um, looking through this right now, the Iron Banner, of course, you read those those changes last week. Players must now be level 20 and above to lead a fire team. Uh, Lord Saladin now has five reputation ranks, increased from the, the original three. And there's also the tempered buff and reforging features. Um, destinations, they've now, uh, for public events, they, they'll now occur 10 to 15% more frequently in all public spaces, which should help with some of those uh, bounties that require you to complete those public events. Other changes, there's been uh, other changes for vendors, so they've increased the number of bounty slots that you can hold in your inventory. From 5, you can now hold 10. They've added shaders to Eva Levante's stock in the tower. Uh, you can now preview the features, which is pretty awesome. You don't have to go through third-party websites. I know that's been another feature that a lot of people have been asking for. Uh, emblems can also be previewed in... Um, so that's pretty. So that's pretty good stuff. Uh, PVP. They've enabled revive scoring for skirmish and salvage. Um, they fixed an exploit with revive scoring. Maps have also been changed. Just a ton of changes. Again, read them all below. Once again, the update is live. It's version 1.0.3, and it it checks in at about 2.44 gigabytes. So if you haven't already been prompted to to do so, you can go ahead and exit the game or boot it up for the first time, and it should prompt you to download it. Once again, this has been Matt Liebel with GameZone.com, and as always, uh, check back for any more news and updates. If we learn anything more about the Iron Banner, like when it'll go live, we'll be sure to let you know.